the woods the woods are so beautiful today i have made it to wissahickon valley park and i am going to go on a well overdue well needed hike hike i'm going on a walk i have not been feeling the best lately and i feel really cooped up in my house so i need to get outside get moving get some fresh air hear the sounds of the birds hear the sounds of the walk talk don't worry if i'm looking like because i'm looking at myself and then i'm looking at the camera um yeah it's been a while since i've been on youtube but i decided that i need to start making a content for myself because i like to do youtube so yeah enough of the over explaining let's go outside hold on i had to turn the camera on because that sun was getting me right this is the trail that i'm going to be on well this isn't the real trail yet we're actually near the road but as you can see i'm declining and i'm going downward um i got my camera with me this is my film camera i'll be taking some pictures and i have my journal with me as well because i really need to get some stuff out of my head so <laughs> It's actually a really beautiful day for um, it to be October right now. Uh, it's about 68, 70 degrees outside, which is not the best to hear, but it's nice to feel. <laughs> uh, yeah, just going to mosey on along. It's so pretty outside. It's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can hear the water and the birds and maybe my footsteps, <laughs> my footsteps as well. All right, I'm getting too corny. Ooh. Okay, let me go ahead. I'm back. A billion dogs just passed me. And by a billion, I mean two. So this hike was supposed to be for Friday, but sometimes you cannot wait for things. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go today because that is what I was feeling inclined to do. Ooh, y'all hear that? That's so pretty. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> Long story short, I keep myself in the same positions every single year. So I don't really give myself room to grow and to not do the same things every single time. Ooh, ooh that big stone. <laughs> 
but like I'm self-aware enough to know that it's probably because of fear or outside energy from other people that keeps me from doing what I need to do for myself. But like I hinder myself just like a lot of people in their early 20s, late teens do, especially if you're at a disadvantage from other people or you have mental health issues, stuff like that. So lately to make myself feel untrapped, I have been trying to get outside more. Through the summer I worked as a Ooh, sorry. I'm out of breath. Damn. But through the summer I worked as a outdoor education, um an environmental education like intern teacher thing for youth. And that has really connected me to the outdoors a lot more. <sighs> I should be down there. There's a whole nother trail down there that I should be on. Okay, let me see if I keep going. I think that I'll get to where I need to be, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. But yeah, that has connected me to the outdoors a lot more. And I really see the appreciation or I have more appreciation for the outdoors. And it's not like I haven't before. It's just that this job gave me an outlet to do that. <sighs> okay, I have to go back down and around. I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is the part where I have to go down and then go over like this. Look at it, it looks kind of steep. You can't really see it on the camera, but in real life, this should look steep as hell. Okay, I made it. And I'm kind of near the water and it's so pretty. I love the sound of water, y'all. This is Wissahickon Valley Park, for those wondering. And it's really nice local to Philadelphia and it is gigantic. So all the way from Maniunk, all the way through Roxborough, East Falls, all that. So if you live up there then come to Wissahickon Valley Creek Park because it's nice. <laughs> so I found a nice little spot to sit. It's really nice. Just kind of come down that weird thing and you're here this man um i'm gonna try to get down here and sit and we'll talk there i hope you guys can hear me because i want to talk really low oh that looks like a a waterfall over there i might go see that a little later but i am gonna get ready to walk back yeah so i just kind of needed to come outside and take a breather from everything that is going on. It's been really boring since I left my last job. I went back to school. School is going okay. It's just a little draining. There are so many people going back and forth across the river and it's annoying. Not annoying like for, on their end, but like annoying on my end because I keep looking at them. But anyway, I just need to 
get outside. I've been kind of just going to school, going to work, and just going home recently. I've been feeling really lonely, mainly because I lost my best friend. She didn't die or anything. We're just not best friends anymore. And I do have true friends. I have like a couple, like two or three. And I'm not mad at her. I'm not blaming her for anything. And I'm not gonna hold this thing against her, but she needed her space. I needed to go where I needed to go. And that's just how it was supposed to be. I might cut out like all of that because it's not like I'm ashamed to talk about it, but maybe venting about it on YouTube is not the best thing. I do have a therapist, just so you guys know. <laughs> it's been really hard making new friends. And I've been trying to make new friends since two years ago. Like I've been really trying to make new friends and I have made new friends. I've made a lot of new friends, but I am specifically trying to make new friends and new people that are going to really be in my life. People that will be around for some time and are around often. Um, it's been really, 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 really hard to do that. And it's probably mostly because of me or because of the generation that I'm from. Yeah, it's just been kind of weird. I've been real lonely. Like I can work and I have work friends, but once I leave that job, you keep telling yourself like, oh, it must be you. You have to you know, keep the relationship going and stuff like that. But honestly, I do that all the time, a good amount of the time at least. Um, or like I'm usually always the one to invite people to hang out and to do stuff with. I just got a cat though, because I need a cat in my house after my last cat died. Yes, the Kiki that you guys have seen on this channel has died. He was only two years old and he passed away. They said he was gonna grow out of his heart murmur, but he didn't and I think it got him, unfortunately. So I got a new cat and he has no personal space, but that's okay because I wanted a cuddly cat anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just feel really lonely and I, I've been trying to make friends and that's really all I can say without like getting like angry about it or like not angry, but irritated or frustrated about it. But the only thing that I can do is keep on living and keep on going, keep on trying to make friends. I'm not gonna let anything make me feel like I'm not enough for other people. There is a little bug trying to crawl on my camera and it's not, it's getting my nerves. <laughs> All right, I wanna move this. Um, so if anyone <laughs> has the time of day, do you guys want to come outside with me? Because it's really nice out here. I'm just, I'm actually looking at myself. I'm not even looking at the nature, but I am a part of nature. So it's looking real nice out here. Look at, look at the view guys. Oh my God. It looks so pretty out here. Look. It's like, but it does look really nice out here. I was gonna journal, but like, what am I gonna journal about? I like to journal in the confines of my own home. You know, I'm gonna head down to that waterfall and I'll see you guys back there.
Do you see it? Do you see it over there? That's so beautiful. Well, I mean, it's not beautiful, but it's nice. Okay, let's keep going. trying to get across because I don't want to hike all the way back. I want to take the regular trail, but this kind of seems a little bit hard. You can go this way. I can get these shoes yet wet. They're, they're hiking shoes, but I really want to get across. <laughs> so let's see. Ooh. So, Ooh. I ended up not getting across because it was way too hard it was like a dam and a current and everything so i would not have been able to get across without getting wet it's time to go home um i have to get up for work in the morning this has been really refreshing to come out here and kind of just reflect be in nature all that stuff because I live in Philadelphia. There's nothing but, you know, concrete, you know, in the city. I mean, there's definitely, this is still Philadelphia. It's not like, it's not. Philadelphia has some beautiful parks, some beautiful nature, beautiful birds. When you really look and when you really take yourself out of the hustle and bustle and you take yourself out of the whole like thing like the whole city vibe like it really has some good nice spots where you can be in nature if you feel stuck within the city but if you're ever feeling lonely i learned that you can't keep yourself there you know like usually I'll bask in it and I'll be like I'm so lonely and that's how I'm feeling right now but when it really comes down to it like you have to find a way to take yourself out of it because like it may feel like hold on I'm having a brain fart like I'm, I'm stuck on this thing and I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get down here Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. see all right let me go ahead this is why I can't be alone because I need people to catch me when I fall on a damn hike okay because if I fall ain't nobody gonna fly me all right if I fall into a tree, into the woods, ain't nobody gonna motherfuck fall. Anyway, <laughs> if you feel lonely, do not get discouraged. Do not let any of it define you. Do not feel like you are unlovable. Because of course, if you felt lonely, you've been there. Don't feel like it's too late, especially if you're young. If you're a young person like me, don't feel like it's too late to make good friends, to make long lasting friendships, all that stuff. Like, don't feel like, like the time is running out, you know, like, because at the end of the day, like you have so much life to live. And sometimes these little blips in your life are necessary. Like they are necessary. They might not be the funnest, but sometimes they are necessary. And 
yeah that's really all i have to say that's all that's what i've learned like you know and i'm not saying all this because i figured out how to be good with being alone like no like i have not figured that shit out i am aware enough to know that this is just how it's supposed to be sometimes but um don't give up on trying to make friends because they are out there there are billions and billions of people in the world and there are people in the world that are going to love you and that haven't met you yet okay so yeah <laughs> let's walk back because i am tired i do the craziest shit for videos we're good I'm back in my car. Took all my stuff off. We got really hot. But um, if you watch to the end, thanks for watching. Um, it's time to now go home and take a shower and go to sleep. So yeah, thanks for coming with me on my hike. And hopefully I make more videos pretty soon. Um, yeah, bye.